Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I really want to do a review to a mask that I've been wanting to try for a very, very, very long time. I'm going to be reviewing the Sand and Sky mask, which is the Australian uh, pink clay mask. I've heard a lot of things about this. Um, I know they have like an exfoliator as well, but I'm not too interested in exfoliator at the moment because I still have some at home that I've yet to finish, but I was interested in their mask um, for a very, very long time. So now that I finally bought it and it's here and I can't wait to review it for you right now. So here is the package. I will be opening this. Cool, okay. Okay, so this is the Sand and Sky mask. So it's like a cute little box. I thought the box was gonna be a little bit smaller. For some reason, I thought the mask would be a lot smaller, but it's actually a good size. Another great thing is that it came with a little tote bag. Which is cute. Apparently with um it was limited edition, so only a few people, first few people can get it. And I was one of the first few people. So there's a tote bag. Really, really cute. I'm absolutely in love with this bag, by the way. So I'm actually gonna open the mask now. This is actually the first time me opening um the actual sand and sky uh box. So I'm gonna open it for you right now. A few moments later. On you So this is the inside of it. Um, very soft. I like it. I like it. It comes with a little protector as well. And then, of course, it comes with a little leaflet. So if you guys want to know the ingredients that is inside the pore defining mask, they are all back here. And now for the actual mask. Open that. Ah, it's pink. Okay. So it is actually quite small. I was right. Ah, here we go. Okay, so I actually really like the packaging. I love that it's pink and blue and just really goes with their brand. So this is the actual mask. I don't know if you can see that, but it's super pink. I'm gonna open it and we'll see what it looks on the inside. Cool, so it has like a little lid like that. that. Ooh. Mm smells nice definitely i love the smooth consistency and texture inside it so this is pretty cool now that i've opened it i'm actually going to try it right now using their brush so i'm going to put my hair up okay so i've got my mirror i have got my brush and i have my mask i'm going to put it on right now my hand is actually going to be very very messy after this so Use the lid. Now I'm gonna move on to the actual. Okay, so now that this is the actual mask, they said to leave it for 10 minutes. Okay, I can really feel what they mean by the tingling sensation. It is quite warm as well. I think it's a really nice color for a mask. I love the fact that it's like pink and stuff. I can feel that the clay is like going into my skin and just just sucking out all the um, impurities and the dirt and the bacteria or whatever is on my skin. So the whole point of this mask is that it's supposed to detoxify and brighten your skin. I do have a little bit of dark spots on my skin um, before I put on the mask. So hopefully it will help with that. Overall, I can say that the mask is a really nice texture. I love the smoothness of it. Um, I love the little packaging. I love that it's pink. It's a small little container, but it does give quite a lot. I mean, it was actually filled to the top when I first opened it. Usually I always do my mask once a week. I feel like doing it two, three times a week is a little bit too much for me. I don't really have the time to do that all the time. But I always try to put um, mask once a week and really just get my skin to rejuvenate myself and get ready for the new week. Yeah, the mask is kind of like hardening a little bit, if that's the word. Um, I quite like the feeling. I'll come back and show you the progress. So this is the aftermath after 10 minutes. I must say uh, I waited a little bit longer than 10 minutes because there were some parts of the mask that were still trying to dry up. But honestly, 
my face is like hard as rock. I can't even move my expressions. Okay, so I'm gonna go and wash it really quickly and I'll come back and tell you guys how it was. Okay, so now that I have taken off the mask, I'm just gonna feel how it is before I put on my moisturizer. My skin feels a lot smoother. <laughs> wow, it does feel very, very squeaky clean. My face is a little bit red, uh, which I can understand because the mask was kind of like pulling stuff out from my skin. But other than that, it feels really smooth. Like, wow. <sighs> I can already tell that this mask is going to be one of those masks that I go to when my skin is just just need a little bit of a boost I guess um, when it's just not feeling right and I have like a free spa day to myself this is the mask that I will go to oh wow so I'm gonna take my Clinique moisturizer if you haven't seen my review on Clinique ID moisturizer please go check it out now so I'm just gonna put two pumps on my fingers and then just Okay, so now I've just put on my moisturizer. I My skin still does feel very, very smooth. Um, it takes some time for the moisturizer to sink into my skin, but um, I'm quite happy with it. I like the feeling of my skin and the texture of it. I can't stop touching it. But other than that, um, I can already sense some difference. For example, like my, my skin is a lot smoother than it used to be. And of course, I would have to use this mask quite often to actually see the difference, but I'm quite excited to see how my skin will improve with this mask. Overall, I would say this is a pretty good mask. It really does say what it was going to do. It really does smoothen my skin. It does tighten my pores. I do feel like I've been detoxified and my skin has just been brought to life. I will have to test it again. I'll probably have to use it a couple of times to really see a huge difference. So um, I'll see if it really improves my redness, my irritation, or like my dark spots that I have or any of the pimples that have, have occurred or maybe I've been using this so much and there were no pimples that came up. I'll definitely give you some sort of update. Give me a thumbs up if you want to update on how it's going with this mask. I'll definitely give you another video on it. But other than that, I'm quite happy with it. Okay, I can feel the moisturizer just gone and sunk in. I guess my biggest fear with this is that my skin will dry up which does happen sometimes and it does bother me so I might double up on the moisturizer but other than that pretty good so that is all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching um and i hope to see you guys on my next one go purchase a sanded sky if you're really really curious like how i was use the coupon youtube 20 and you'll get 20 percent discount on the sand and sky um products other than that please go try it out and i will see you in my next video bye